Okay, hello there. We are talking about today the items that I sold on eBay for the last week of February 2017. And again, it wasn't it wasn't the best week. It, it's odd that you know this February has been probably one of my slower Februarys ever. I mean, February used to be a really great month for me. It, it could be a bunch of different reasons. I don't, I'm not sure why. And uh, but anyway, I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna guess. I'm just gonna keep listening and and keep putting stuff up. You know, I was in the basement today, and guy had to turn the water off because because we were because we were uh, putting a new a new faucet in the sink, and I went to turn the water off, and I'm back in this one corner of the basement, and there's a whole big box of Pyrex Visions that I'd forgotten all about. I, I really need to list the stuff I got here at the house. I got so much stuff here. I just need to get it listed. I don't need to go out and buy. I gotta stop going out and buying stuff and just list what I got. I got so much stuff. But anyway, speaking of stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and uh, show you what what was the first thing. The first thing we sold this week was this Miro uh, pasty press, cookie press. Uh, this is the second one of these I sold recently. I was actually didn't realize that these were uh, that these were actually selling. So not that it sold for a lot. But if you get them cheap enough, I usually pick them up in bag sales. I mean, I've actually put some of this stuff in and just thrown it in the scrap aluminum pile. <laughs> you know, which I, I, I'm not doing any scrapping anymore. But, but you know, I, I used to do that because they, they weren't really getting that much. So, but you know, I'll take this. And uh, anyway, so I paid $0.35 cents for this at Goodwill because it was clearanced. And I listed it February 8th, sold it February 23rd. I got ten seventy four plus shipping, so... I'm all right with that. Next, Tingly. I got these at Goodwill a while back now. Uh, I paid five bucks a pair on on these rubbers, and I listed these March 21st last year. Sold it on the 23rd of, of February here, and I got for this pair I got 15.57 plus shipping for this pair. So that is good to see. I was glad to see that one go. Um, I thought they would have sold a lot faster last year, but you know I have them priced high, so you know I was sit I had to have had to sit on them. So all right, next, and I got this. This is one of those things I bought at the Broken Promises Walmart thing, and uh, that I video that I did. I bought a bunch of stuff that was on clearance there. I paid for this. I paid uh, I paid three bucks for this. I listed it January thirty first, sold it February twenty fourth, and I got fourteen forty with free shipping. So it went in a, a flat rate padded envelope. So I didn't make a whole lot, but I made money. So that's all that counts. Next. And this was sort of a, I don't want to put it, this was a uh, kind of a giveaway. I and, mean, you know, just, yeah, I have these listed. And I've already broken the lot up once and I had to retake the picture. And then somebody asked me if they just wanted to buy one of them. So I, I sold them. I sold them, I think it was the Snow White for Buck plus shipping so they paid a buck plus shipping I make nothing on shipping on that so uh, yeah I probably lost money on it but hey you know it's you know used to be that eBay was a community of people you know and we kind of looked out for one another and we tried to help one another out it's not so much like that anymore you know what I mean it's gotten a little more cutthroat it's gotten you know it's not quite it's not quite. It's not like the community it used to be, but you know, it it's a whole different internet now than what it was in '99. So, anyway, that's a deal on that one. I didn't do that great, but oh well. So uh, let's see. I didn't pay anything for these games, so all I got in it is you know my cost and time and everything, which is worth a lot more than I got out of it. But oh well. So all right, next. And this cute little guy, it's a little cat. He's a miniature or ornament, just a little, just a, it was just a little one. Uh, I paid 50 cents for him. I don't know when. I listed it, let's see, December 1st, 2015. He's been listed a long time. And let's see, he sold February 24th. And I got six dollars and fifty cents free shipping. It cost me two dollars and sixty-seven cents, I think, to ship. So, all right, next, wizard, wizard. It's a wizard jar wrench. And let's see, I sell these 
I want to get them. I sell every one of them. Every one of them. To, so let's see. This was, uh, I paid a quarter. I listed it February 23rd, sold it February 24th, so one day later. And I got I got $10.76 free shipping. And I'm, I'm okay with that. So next. And Echo Hot Dog Tongs. Typically, I don't buy them. I, I don't know how I got them or why I got them, but I got them. And let's see, I paid... 79 cents goodwill i think probably and let's see uh listed it february 7th sold it february 24th and i got eight bucks free shipping so next and levi's 501 button flies 36 32 i'm not sure i may have bought these for myself um it says i paid a buck for them What? Yeah, thirty-six, thirty-two. It says I paid a buck for them, and I listed them February third. Sold them February twenty-fifth. I got fifteen dollars for them, but I may have gotten them for myself. I don't remember. I've had them around for a while. I might have just picked them up at a bag sale or something. Probably a bag sale at the niche, uh, because I do wear thirty-sixes now. I don't really wear thirty-twos. Yeah, but um, I forgot how much I don't like. Buttonfly. I can't stand Buttonfly. I'd forgotten that I don't really like them. So, <laughs> I had naturally sold them. Alright, so next. That 15 bucks, you know, plus shipping. Sweet. Did I do it again? Oh, yeah, I did it again. I, say, I think it, was, it might have been the same person. Yeah. Or is that just the same? That might. That's probably the same listing. That's the same listing. Yep, so, okay, next. Uh, Bosch battery charger, and let's see, got this at Goodwill. Yeah, Goodwill. I paid a buck fifty for it. Listed it February nineteenth. Sold it February twenty fifth, and I got thirty dollars uh, plus shipping on it. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Next, Izod. I got these on the clearance day at the Goodwill for fifty cents. Yeah, I picked up a bunch of very large 50, 51 inch that, and I, this might be, I'm not sure if this is the only pair I've sold so far, but, yeah, anyway, so I, I know I've sold, uh, the, well, these ones are sold, let's see, paid 50 cents, listed it on February 15th, sold it on the 27th, and I got $20 plus shipping. Sweet. Next, uh, Volkswagen uh, fuel injection manual. This is one of those things that was in the garage in that box I told you about that sat out there for years and years and years. And uh, I was going to sell and going to sell and I never got it. This is what happens when you actually pick up stuff that you have at your house that you already bought that you haven't listed for a long time and get it listed. You start selling. I've made a lot of money on these books that just sat in my garage on the shelf. You know, forget about the 10 or 20 bucks sitting on the shelf of Goodwill. I need to just list what I got here, don't I? So, yeah, anyway, I listed this uh, October 13th, sold it January 27th, and I got 25 bucks for it, free shipping, So it and it's just a thin, a real thin, it wasn't, wasn't a big deal, so, next. All right, uh, toothbrushes, I don't know if you remember me telling you about these, these were Goodwill find? Yeah, Goodwill find. I paid, let's see, I paid... Uh, Two bucks for all of them. I paid two bucks for the lot. Sold them, or listed them February 19th. Sold them February 27th. And I got $15 plus shipping on them. So, good. I'm good with that. That's that's fine with me. It seems like, you know, that's kind of my sweet spot anyway. Is $15 to $20 is, you know, I, I do better sometimes. But that seems to be more my average. So, oh well. Should be more, but it's not. Next. And this is very cute, and I've had it a long time. Little shamrock pin. Um, don't know what I paid for it. Probably just got it in the bag sale. But I listed it July 26th and sold it February 27th, and I got $7 free shipping. And I made a little bit on it, not much, but it's out of here. Next. 
Crocs. A pair of slingback women's Crocs. Okay, what did I do? How did this work out? Uh, gold colored Crocs. There they are. Paid a buck sixty. And listed them February 25th. Sold them February 27th. And I got 14 bucks plus shipping on them. Good deal for me. Next. And it's just a presser foot. The Singer presser foot. It was marked Singer and had a number on it. This came out of a box. You know, you get them Singer parts boxes all the time. You probably see them regular. You can sell them for two, three, four bucks for the whole box and all the gadgets. Or you can take it apart and take your time and make money on each little piece. Yeah, you're going to sit on them longer doing it this way. I'll tell you that right now. You will sit on them longer. But, you know, if you don't have a whole lot of stuff, you can always go on eBay and buy those boxes of them that people are selling a whole box of them. If you don't, if you can't get a lot of stuff, you can always go in there and buy a box for five bucks and and take it apart. Get when you get it, you know, piece it out and piece it out for fifty bucks. You know, you you end up getting fifty, sixty bucks for for the pieces if you piece them out. And you know, it'll take you time. But if you can't get stuff, you know, it's a way to make a little bit of something if you can't. You know, lots of things like that you can do. All right, so this is a uh, presser foot. Paid about thirty cents for it, and I listed it July twenty first. This one I actually listed July twenty first, twenty fifteen. So it's been up for a long, long two year and a half, and it sold on the twenty seventh, and I got fifteen dollars plus shipping. Next, Trolley's VHS tape. Yeah, I paid fifty cents for this. Listed. January 8th, sold it February 27th for 10 bucks free shipping. So, next, Perline Play. I bought a bunch of these things, I, I, and they did start to, they have started to sell a little bit. I paid about 20 cents a piece for them. So, you know, and I listed them October 24th, 2015. They've been listed a long time, long time. Anyway, uh, sold it on... February 27th, and I got, I got seven dollars plus shipping on it. So they only bought the one. I, I'm always I'm always amazed that they only buy one, but they do. It doesn't seem. I think I had one one listing where they they bought six of them. I think, but most of them have just been one, which is really odd. But hey, that's cool. Next, and it's just a uh, it was a vintage uh, beret. Let's see the see the tag on here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. There's an old old tag. So it's not new. Oh, it didn't say where it was made. But anyway, yeah. Let's see. I paid about ten cents for that. Listed it February fifteenth. Sold it February twenty seventh, and I got I got sixteen dollars plus shipping. So, speaking of, I got it at the niche in a bag sale. Speaking of the bag sale, the niche is having another bag sale on the starting the twentieth, starting mo Monday, I guess. And they'll probably run it all week, I'll bet you. But you know what? I gotta stay away. I gotta stay away. There's, I was over there the other day, and they do have a lot of there's a lot of stuff I wouldn't mind shoving in the bag. But I got a, I got enough. I got enough, I got enough stuff. Although I feel bad for not going. Next, Imperial Candlewick Mayo Underplay. Guy emailed me, said he, he'd been looking for one of these for years. 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 But he couldn't buy it unless I'd take a money order. All right. Send me a money order. So he bought it. And when the money order was supposed to get here, he emailed me again and said, Well, I, I can't pay for it till April 1st. Okay. So I sold this plate to him for $7.50 plus shipping. I paid $0.50. Cents. I listed it October 23rd, 2015. Sold it February 27th. Now i got to wait till April 1st to see if I'm going to get payment or not. So we'll see. If not, I'll I'll cancel it and relist. It, you know that's it's just the thing. I told him I said, "Yeah, I done eat nothing." He said, "I'm not worried." I told him I'm not worried about it. It's not eating anything. But 
would be nice to get paid for it so I could get it get it gone and get it done. But I'm gonna redo. I only got two pictures of this thing in here, so I'm gonna redo the pictures when I when I do it anyway because these pictures are not that great. So I, yeah, I like I like the green background I have better now than the red one. Although they say red the red the red is supposed to uh, generate more sales. The but I've not really noticed that. So okay, next. Uh, another pair of button flies. This is a different pair. These were same size, paid a buck. Listed them on the th on February February third. Sold them February twenty seventh. I got I got fourteen ninety for this pair plus shipping. So that's kind of, that's fine with me. Next, and a couple more books I got out of that box in the garage. These are uh, Volkswagen Audi fuel injection books, and. I listed them October 13th, sold February 27th, and I got 15 bucks free shipping. Again, they're just a little book. They're not. They're they're you know regular size. You know man, manual regular size that you'd see in a garage manual, but they're real thin, so they went first class. So, all right next, Radica Solitaire game. These always sell. My this is getting a little slower, but. So anyway, um, I paid 99 cents for this. I listed it July 14th, sold it February 28th, and I got $13 free shipping. So it's out of here. Next. And last. This is the last thing. This is the last of those rubber boots. So all my rubbers are gone. Um, I paid 10 bucks for the pair. There was two of them. They are both the same. So I paid 5 bucks each. I listed, listed them March 21st last year and sold sold them February 28th and I got $50 for the pair plus shipping so that was sweet but now they're all gone I don't have any more of those there and they're not coming back everybody's happy everybody's good boots are out of here and I made well probably I bought originally I had five or six of them so I paid like 30 bucks something like that and they're all sold now, and I've probably made 150, 200 bucks on them. So, happy days. All right, anyway, so let's see. I paid all together for everything that I sold this week. I paid $30.29, and my total sales for the week were $340.98. Not that great, not that exciting, but it is February, and it's the end of February. So, happy day. February is going to be is over, and I'm just going to keep listing. I hope you keep listing, and I hope we keep we both keep making money. So have a great day. See ya. Bye.